What's up guys, this is my Analog Pocket. Now, with all the reviews that have come out on this thing in the last six months, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do something a little bit different. That's why I bought another one, that's the black edition, and we're gonna see how cool we can make these things look. So the goal of this vid is going to be to take both of these apart and swap the parts around as much as we can until we get a design that we like. So since the white one is my own personal one and I like the white one better, we're gonna go ahead and open that one second and break into this brand new black one first. really got it on there. There it is. What? There's dust on it. Look at that. I mean, there's a screen protector on there, but still, how'd dust get in there? All right, here it is. The black analog pocket. Pop it out of there. I haven't seen the black one yet in person. There is quite a bit of dust on here, actually. I wasn't expecting this to be like an unboxing video, but there's like little marks. See that mark right there? You can see that. All right, it's powering up. I'm just turning it on just in case it didn't work. You know, I wouldn't have known if it, if it didn't work when I put it back together. So before I open it, I'll just talk about what I am trying to accomplish here. What my plan, my game plan was, I was gonna try to swap out the buttons on the front, obviously, these buttons here, um, and then the backs. So I'll do, I don't know which backs where, but we'll decide as we take it apart. And uh, yeah, like I said, let's start with this one. That just kind of lifts off. All right, it looks like got our four screws off and our back is off now. Let's see if we can pop this little battery out there it comes very nice pops right out there's the battery so this is what's looking like so far from what i saw online it looks like there's just a little latch yep just hit that little latch there and then this pops up carefully and there is a ribbon cable connected to it and that pops right out. All right, so we'll set this to the right. I'm gonna keep all the black stuff on the right over here, and I'm actually gonna set that aside for now, and let's move on to mine, so we can kind of do them at the same time, so we're not having to get too ahead of ourselves. This just lifts up. Now, I wanted to check and see, does it look like I can it does not look like I can remove the L and R buttons easily, but maybe there are like little tabs right here that maybe I can get them out. I'll try, but like I said, let's try it on the black one. Oh, they do, they pop right out. L and R buttons do pop right out and they're little springs. Let's go ahead and pop those out because we'll definitely swap those. That'll be cool. Okay, there go one. Yeah, there it goes. Cool, so I got both those out and the spring does fall out. So be careful of that. So we're gonna set those there. So it's like, it seems like you only really have to get under this one. So there's this one right here. And if you push it in, the other one kind of just slips through because it has two, it has two on both sides. But if you push that one bigger one down, it seems to pop right out. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this one in. Ooh, that looks cool. Yeah. This video is gonna annoy a lot of people, I can already tell. Nice, I like that already, all right. Well, there's the first little taste. Now let's see, okay, so I gotta do the battery on this one still. So let's pop that battery out. There goes that. Now I wanted to see, not that I don't think there would be a difference, why would there be, but 
Analog is kind of a weird company. So let's see if there's any difference between the batteries on the white or the black model. Well, the QR codes on the back are different. That's really weird. Uh, I don't know what that QR code goes to. Interesting. Maybe because the my white analog pocket was the first shipping date and then the black one's probably the second shipping date. So let's move on. We got to get this little thing off here. Just like I said, it's like a little tab. There's a very small tab right there. See that? If you push that down and then when you push it down, it kind of pops up. If you just kind of lift it from the side, it's really pretty simple, but be careful because you got to get this ribbon right here. So once you get that ribbon, pop that out, these go. One of the things I don't like the most about the pocket is the L and R buttons. They're uh, mushy and like, I don't know, they don't feel very good. I was thinking about swapping them out with some clicky ones eventually. So maybe a mod for the future, not today. I do wanna possibly try doing that if I can find those exact same sized ones because I don't want them to be funky. I want them to fit perfect. So anyways, all right, let's move back to the black one. And the way that this seems to be is that it kind of slides. Yeah, so you saw that click, click. Oh, it just kind of slowly slides. I am just so deadly afraid that I'm gonna rip that ribbon. Oh no, there it goes. It just, just kind of wiggle it. All right, we got it. Sweet. So there's those three connections right there. Wow, that one is so small. That one is terrifyingly small. Pop down, lift up. That was easy. That one was easy. See, this is what I'm thinking too. Is like if I put this one on here, that's gonna look sick. We're definitely doing that. All right, but we gotta get to the buttons on these. All right, so let's go ahead and remove these three. On this one. All right, so we got those three. I think I gotta take this screw out here also. So let's go ahead and take that screw out. It's a smaller screw, same size head, but smaller screw, shorter screw, I should say, than the other ones. Kind of lift them. Oh, this one's terrifying. Okay. Got to be careful because there is a connection pin, the connection ribbon on the inside of here that does not concern us. We do not want to touch thing. I think I can twist it like that. Yeah, okay, it looks like I can twist it like that. This thing just pops out, but it pops out real fast. It's like a, I'll try prying it. There we go. Oh, it's the heat sink. Makes it stick a little bit. All right, I wanna switch the D-pads first off. And then I'm trying to decide if I wanna switch all of the face buttons or just like stagger them. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do them diagonal, like white, black, white, black, or do white, white, black, black. I think that one, because it'd be like Super Nintendo, like, you know, purple, purple, purple. So let's do that. Let's take those ones out. I'm gonna leave the analog button, which is that center button right here, the color of the face of the console, but we'll swap these other two. All right, we are there. We are there, wait. Oh, there's no rubber piece for these, that's weird. Okay, we're there. Let's put it back together. All right, guys, ready? Let's do them one at a time. Let's see how it's, how it's looking. All right, ready? One, two, three. Ooh. I like that. What do you think, guys? That look pretty clean? Let's check this one out, ready? Oh yeah, oh yeah. That one looks pretty fire. All right, now the fun part. So let's go ahead and do this black one first. All right, so first off, I need to get these ribbons back in. Here we go. Good. 
then. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of just, uh, let me zoom in and I'll show you for anyone that takes one of these apart. And I'm kind of just like pushing this backwards and then until it pops into place and then I, I push it in from this way. And this one doesn't look like it's gonna be difficult at all. So that one should just slide right in. It doesn't look like it goes in any farther than that. Hopefully that's it. All right. And then we're gonna do this. I think this went into this hole. Yeah, it had to have. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but this is it. It really isn't that big. It really isn't that much to take one of these apart. All right, and then it goes back. There are, oh, there it goes. It just kind of pops into place. They did a really good uh, job designing this part of it anyways. That is gonna look so sick, dude. That's gonna look so sick. Set that right there. But I gotta put the L and R buttons in. Pops right in. Pops right in. I guess it's in. This is the black one. It is in. Does that look clean? Should we go with the white back? I guess it's easy to swap out if I want to try this one. That looks pretty sick, actually. Yeah, that looks pretty sick with the black buttons on the back. I think I'm going to go with it like that. That just looks like more more was done to it, you know? Let's do that. All right, battery. That looks pretty badass, actually. There it goes. All right, let's move on to this one. Got that one charging up. So same deal. Let me get a close up of how I'm doing these ribbons this time. So we'll start with this one here. So make sure that the black tab is up and then I'm pressing down on it like this. And then I'm taking this spudger and kind of scooting it back while putting pressure down on it. And it kind of falls right into place. And that's that's the method I saw was working. These ones are kind of funky because they're so small. There it goes. And then this one's a little bit easier. Pops right in. All right, so now we got this one. And we go around that like that. Pull that out. Pull it back a little, push it down, and make sure the tabs on the side are getting where they're supposed to be getting. Come on. So this latch is like that, clicks together. Now that looks dope. Oh, I love the way that one looks. Let's pop a game in. How about a, an old classic, fan favorite? Everything's working, analog button. Oh, let's make sure LNR's working. Yep. L's working, R should be working. Awesome. Well, there you have it, guys. That was a really fun build to do. Uh, I guess it really wasn't a build, but mod, technically. Technically, it was still a mod. I think it's really sweet. I'm actually really surprised I haven't seen anyone do this before. Uh, I guess because analog pockets are so expensive, and nobody wants to take the risk of shelling out the uh, 400 or whatever dollars it costs to get one. This one, my original one, I actually got pretty much at cost. I ended up working out a deal with a guy on Facebook Marketplace 
I uh, traded him a modded GBA and uh, some money and he gave me like the dock and the pocket. I was pretty stoked because I, I actually didn't plan on ever getting one because I wasn't going to pay the overpriced prices and I wasn't going to wait a year to get one. So very stoked. Let's check this one out. This is the one I bought on Mercari for 400 bucks and it will be for sale soon because uh, I don't need to. Super stoked on how these turned out. I'm very happy about how easy it was to do. Uh, I had anticipated it would be not that big of a deal and it really wasn't. They look so sick like this. I'm still considering making a little analog pocket review, just a small review. There's so many reviews out though and I feel like everybody covered everything so I don't feel like it's super necessary but I feel like there's a couple things that people harped on a little too much that wasn't really that big of a deal. You know what I mean? It is what it is. My final things I will say about the analog pocket is that it's definitely worth $200. With everything that's out right now, I mean, if you wanna buy a modded Game Boy, you're spending 200 bucks easily, so it's definitely in that range. All right, guys, that pretty much sums this video up. Be sure to leave me a comment down below on what you think about how these turned out. I'm really glad that we could get them both apart and back together without any serious injury to them, especially at the price point that these are at still currently. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching again, and be sure to give your boy a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.